everyone, it is Captain Release 2915 here. And tonight, I want to show y'all how to make your own catfish bait. Normally, I like to use uh, chicken liver, but we're having a shortage of chicken right now. So, they didn't have any chicken liver. So, I had to get some chicken tenders. And I'll show y'all what I like to do with my chicken tenders. So, I just got the Food Line brand chicken tenders. Um, it, I got a, a, a pound, eight ounces of this stuff, so this is great. And so what you're gonna do, is you're gonna add some strawberry gelatin right here. I'm using a uh, uh, Food Line brand, of course, and uh, it's only you know, net ounces, three ounces to this stuff right here. Now, I actually did a comparison. I took this one, to, I, I took this this one, and then I took the Jello brand. I put them both in my hand. And I looked at the back of it, and they both had the exact same ingredient. The only, the only, the only thing is, is that this is a dollar. The Jello brand is a dollar twenty-nine. I realized that you're just paying. You actually paying just for the name brand. So I figured. I figured, why not just go for the good old food line brand? What I've always known. So, my parents always bought this, but I never ate it because I'm very uh, highly afraid of it. Because uh, when I was little, my teacher forced me to eat it. And I just didn't like it. So, ever since then, I'm afraid of it. And I don't like the texture of it. So, but. That's not right though, but I do love some chocolate pudding though. And we're gonna add some um, garlic powder to it. That's gonna give it some nice flavor for the catfish in the morning. So, so what you're gonna do is you're going to um, I will show y'all what you're going to do. You're gonna take a little knife like this, and you're just gonna slit the packet. Like that. Nothing fancy. You're just gonna slit the package. Um, and you're gonna take out however many chicken pieces you want to use. So I'm actually gonna take out. Um, let me see. I got about four pieces here. So I'll take out one more. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do five pieces actually. And I, I might do a little bit of this. And then, so what I'm going to do is tomorrow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I have two fishing poles that I am going to rig up with this, um, strawberry chicken. And then I've got two other poles that I am going to rig up with the one and only Gogan Bates, everybody. My local Walmart just, uh, released the Gogan Bait. And, uh, so I'm super excited to try it. Never tried it, so I got the... The, the Guggen Bambito Bug, and I also got the Guggen Crankbait. Pretty amazing, though. I, 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 I'm very impressed with the product, if you ask me. So, I'm pretty excited about that. So, so tomorrow I'm going to do some catfish, and I'm also hoping to catch other things. Like, I'm hoping to catch maybe a large mouth bass, or maybe a small mouth bass, maybe a carp. You never know. I'm, I'm willing to catch anything. So, I'm super excited about that. So, that's what I'm going to do. So, what you're going to do is you want to um, cut these, you know, however, however chunks you like them, a nice big chunk. So, I'll show you how, how I'm going to do it, but you can do it. You can also buy chicken breast, too, if you can't find the tender. But I'm going to do mine about this size. That side. So, those are the kind of chunks I'm going to do. I think it might be good. And it will stay on your hook better. But, um, when you rig it up on, on your hook, you want to make sure you leave a little bit so the hook is exposed. That way, it can grab onto the fish. So, just another thought. Because I made a mistake one day 
and I didn't have it. I didn't have my cat fish hooked on. I thought my cat fish wasn't hooked on, but it totally it was. But for some reason, it was almost about to come off, so I always make sure you hook it out a little bit. So that way, the, um, it will hook them better. You know, so just want to let you all know that. So, I'm going to cut them up like that. I got a bunch in my hand already. So, I, I'm pretty I'm pretty excited to try this out. I've actually, I've actually never done it with uh, Jello. So, this is a pretty cool experiment. Pretty excited about it. Uh, I've seen a lot of other YouTubers try it, and they say it worked for them, so I thought, why not try it, right? So, you know, it'll be a little fun experience, a little fun experience, you know? So I thought it'd be cool. Let's try something different than I, than I normally do. You know, so, you know, I'm trying to stay positive, you know, through all this, uh, through the pandemic and, you know, all this stuff going on right now, so... I can un I can understand there being a shortage of meat and stuff like that, but I, I figured, you know, since there's a shortage of meat, you know, there's always other alternatives too. You can always go to the bait store, you can use night crawlers if you want. They seem to have plenty of those. Or you can use, you know, crank bait, worm, whatever you got, you know what I mean? So those are definitely work too. If you can't get can't, if you can't find any good fresh chicken or whatever you can find, so don't worry if you can't find it, you'll be okay. There's always another alternative. So this is why I'm having to do this because they ran out of chicken liver. So I got what I got this one last piece that I'm doing. I'm finishing that up, and then we are going to put our magic stuff on it. And we'll show y'all what it looks like. But first, let me wash my hands. And then we go from there. So. Alright. My hands are nice and washed and clean, so we're good to go. Um. Now, um. Now, if, if, if you're doing a whole pound of chicken, then use the whole, the whole packet. But I'm just going to use half the packet. So, we're good. So, this is going to be pretty cool. I think it's going to be pretty cool. My first time doing it, so I'm pretty super stoked about it, though. You know, so. And, so, I'm going to open up like that. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's what it looks like. So we're gonna I'll tell y'all what I'm so Yep, there you go. I use uh, uh half the packet like that, okay? And, and I'm gonna save it because I'm a, I can always do more. So I got three more uh tenders over here that I'm gonna save and I might use it again. Or I might cook them up for myself, you know. So we'll see. Alright. Now we're gonna add the garlic powder. And go from there. So, this is what you do. So, I'm gonna go, um, let's go a tablespoon. That might be good. So, I don't know. I'm thinking, um, well, yeah. I say a tablespoon would do. So I got a tablespoon on here. Tablespoon on here. Oh, well, that was not smart. Uh, a little bit came out, but that's okay. See? Tablespoon on here. Dump it right in the bag. There we go. And then we're going to do the.
We've got it's a so basically a strawberry garlic chicken. Can't beat it when it's bad right here. And I cut up five. I, I use five chicken tenders for this. So it's great. I hope you all enjoyed the enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. You can view it or like it or subscribe, whatever you like to do. I'm cool with it. Have a good night, y'all. Bye.